This uh, environment, which has created this prize for women architects, it's very significant because women in general, we've come a long way, but it is a fact in many countries that we are still lagging behind in decision making, meaning that there are more men than women who make decisions that have an impact on all of us. Women architects, everyone knows they are fewer than men, but particularly leading women architects are fewer than men, even though there are a lot of women who go and study architecture. And just as women in decision making come with their own perspective, with their own ideas, I think our lives would be enriched if women too have a greater impact on deciding how we live, where we live. We are close to nature, we think of communities, we think beyond ourselves. We are mothers too, we think of our children, we think of our, um, the, our parents. So I think it's good to have a combination of masculine and feminine qualities in everything that we do. And we are hoping a price of this nature will also encourage more women to get into uh, male-dominated fields. You know, they are male-dominated fields. For example, politics is a male-dominated field. And very often you are discouraged from entering because you feel you will have to work twice as hard as a woman before you can succeed. But so this initiative, I believe, would encourage more and more women to be, you know, to, to express themselves, be creative, but to be also courageous. Um, I think it's good also that it brings together women from different parts of the world, women from different backgrounds, women uh, from different, different professions, different political views even. And you are confronted with questions like, you know, do you vote according to your political beliefs or according to your, um, 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 your professional experience? It is important to remember that for anything to be successful, you need to collaborate on an equal footing as partners, not in an exploitative way.